It's the Kate Robbins Show. And here she is, Kate Robbins. Welcome to the show. Now, some of you out there may be watching television at this moment. Well, I certainly hope you are. But if you're on the other side, please switch over immediately. And you'll be needing one of these, a channel hopper. Now, some people say that the invention of this little thing was the ultimate in encouraging laziness. Before we had these, you had to get up out of your armchair, walk over to the set, use your index finger to switch on, switch off, change channels. But what I want to know is, why, oh, why, oh, why is it always the man of the household who hogs the channel hopper? It is, isn't it? Yes! <laughs> Switching from one channel to the other, you know, all the time, all the time, changing channels. So, come on, fellas, give it a rest for the next half hour. You don't need to change channels on this show. <laughs> now, on tonight's show, we've got a great guest for you, probably the most sexy and raunchy, gorgeous man in the country today. Sir Geoffrey Hull. <laughs> He was locked in negotiation in Washington today with his American counterparts... The Beverly Hillbillies. <laughs> Glad you like them. And here's another chance to see Mary Whitehouse... Revolting in the streets of Beirut. And running round with all the pigs in Emmerdale. And in the House of Commons today, Mrs. Thatcher said to Cecil Parkinson... Oh, you are remarkable. <laughs> Jim Davidson. <laughs> anyway, why don't you watch this? I'm a professional girl and I know what I want. I'm out modeling or acting all the time. I like men who respect me and who look but never touch unless their team be directors, then it's fine. <laughs> You wouldn't understand. We called extras. Because <laughs> <laughs> I'm a singer, dancer, actress, model, winning an Oscar from the be a doddle. Spring the scene, don't Hurry up, Diana. <laughs> there you are, Sarah. Come on. You're just in time to join us for a game of Trivial Pursuit. Diana's having a bit of a problem at the moment. Oh, yeah. Difficult question, is it? <laughs> uh, she can't work out how to get the lid off the box. <laughs> <laughs> Got it, yeah. Of course, this game really stimulates the mind, doesn't it? Do hurry up, Diana. I've got to go and muck out, heat up some bran, and then phone the vet. 
sorry, Anne. I didn't know Mark was ill again. <laughs> Who broke into Buckingham Palace and drank the Queen's wine? Oh, easy peasy, aren't you, Margaret? <laughs> Really, Sarah? No, no, no. It was that dreadful Irishman. <laughs> Frank Carson. <laughs> then you're both wrong. It was sulfuric acid. <laughs> Let's play that other one where you go around acquiring lots of property all over the place. What's it called? Marrying Charles. <laughs> right. I have a question on Phantom of the Opera. Mm, there's no such category. Naff off. <laughs> you have to. She doesn't know about anything else. I do so, Yorkie, you rotter. Oh, well. This one's close enough for jazz. <laughs> Who is the most influential man in the history of English theatre? Oh, yeah, yeah, I know this one. It's Edward. Wrong. <laughs> Knowing him, it soon will be. <laughs> Come on, Sarah, your turn. History. Oh, scrummy, I'm good at that. I know all about history. All the way back to, let me see, the Band Aid concert. <laughs> Which famous sailor said, England expects that every man this day will do his duty? Well, it was Andy, of course, but he didn't quite talk like that. What he said was, come on, old girl, time for the honeymoon. <laughs> oh, I don't believe this one. Listen to this. Who is the ruler of all England? <laughs> oh, easy peasy. Oh, well, easy really. peasy. Oh, we all know who that is. One, two, three. Margaret Thatcher. <laughs> well, that's happy hour over. Drinks double price. from supermarket. <laughs> Four runners are ready to go, just waiting for the gates to open. They're under doctor's orders, and they're off! <laughs> There's no clear leader at the moment. They're jostling for position, and it's Q jumper just ahead of Sermley Fires, closely followed by I'm not paying that much, and bringing up the rear shoplifter. <laughs> oh, but dear, oh dear, Q jumper's falling at features, beans, and I'm not paying that much, has been dismounted. Q jumper is well up now. Q jumper piling in that fruit and veg, and just look at the way they're bruising those bananas. Sermley Fires to neck and nectarine behind. And they're coming down the phone straight, with Q jumper clear leader, with I'm not paying that much behind. And it's Q Jumper! But Q Jumper's gone into the eight items or less he's being sent back. And I'm not paying that much, has taken over the lead from Shoplifter, who's in a bit of trouble there at the last bench. Serve me first, is facing a steward's inquiry, and I'm not paying that much at the checkout. But dear, oh dear, she's writing a check, and it's Serve Me First, and it's Shoplifter from Store Detective, and it's Serve Me First, neck and neck with the checkout girl. And Q Jumper is back in the running, but Shoplifter is taken by Store Detective by a big head. I'm not paying that much in trouble. The winner is Q Jumper. Q Jumper, trained by her mother and owned by several building societies. What a marvelous day's racing. That's what friends are for by Dion Warwick and Friends. Do you remember that? It's a great record, wasn't it? Yes. But what you don't realise is that Dion Warwick actually recorded it with some other friends. And that version has never ever been heard until tonight. Well, I. I never thought I'd feel this way And as far as I'm concerned Glad I got the chance to say That I do believe I love you Oh, won't you tell us about it, Julie? Well, if you should ever go away With close your eyes And feel the way we do today Oh, well, then, if can remember Won't you tell us what we must do, Mrs. T? Keep smiling <laughs> Keep smiling Knowing you can always count on me For sure That's for friends of ours Surprise! Will you 
don't let me <laughs> Through good times, through bad times, Tina. I'll be on your side. <laughs> oh, honey, I will. That's what friends are for. Oh, that's what friends are for. That's what friends are for. <laughs> that's what friends are for. <laughs> Joke for you there. Now, you need it. I'll tell you what, living out here in Emmerdale for years, I really need it. I've been stuck on this farm for years. Pick out of here. Oh, yes. You must bake this for three days at Gas Mark 8 or 400 degrees Fahrenheit. Or as we say in Yorkshire, flaming hot. <laughs> And while it's cooking, I'd like to take this opportunity to answer some of your cookery questions. <laughs> Hi, James. And this is from a Mrs. Sloan of Belgravia, London. She wants to know, Annie, how do you make bread in the city? Well, it's easy, love. You just go into the stock market and you say, I'll have a large brown loaf and 200 shares in BP. <laughs> 
<laughs> and uh, this is from a Mrs. Evans of Cardiff, who asks how to feed a family of six on one pound fifty a week. Well, Mrs. Evans, have you ever tried shoplifting? <laughs> I'm afraid there's no time to show you my flannies. So, until next time, I'd like to leave you with a very old Yorkshire saying. And it's something like this. <clears throat> what's done's done, what's said said. I'm an all said and done. There's nought out folk can say about out. <laughs> Whatever it means. So, until next time, goodbye. <laughs> Oh, Pierre, c'est très bon, hein? Merci, monsieur. Pierre, elle est absolument fantastique. Oh, bon, bon. Madame. Oh, oh Pierre, c'est formidable. Oh, au revoir. Merci, monsieur. Au revoir, au revoir. Le French adore. Yes, the Yeah, yeah, okay, yeah, yeah, buy sugar. Yeah, 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 that's right, sugar, yeah. Uh, and, uh, and and if the price is good, yeah, yeah, okay, buy tea. Tea, tea that's right, yeah, okay, and, um, and, and yes, there's a surplus of butter, so buy butter. Darling, wouldn't it be easier if you just gave me a shopping list, yeah? <laughs> Good morning, Miss Jones. Four <laughs> across. Domestic pet. Three letters starting with C. Kangaroo. <laughs> nah. Kookaburra. Kiwi. Ah, jeez, they make these difficult. I wonder if my neighbours could help. Well, bow me over in a billabong of that. I ain't one of my neighbours now. I wonder if it's Babs. I'll let her in. <laughs> Jeez, they gotta move the set around again. Babs! Good day, Babs. Chuck your cheeks on a chair, Babs. Whoa, Babs. I haven't seen you since your boyfriend was moved by those koalas. And we had to rush him to the flying doctor who turned out to be his father and you discovered he was your long-lost brother. Oh, yeah. It's been one hell of a morning, Bezzard. <laughs> so what can I do for you, Babs? Bezzard, I'm gonna have a baby. A baby? Well, that's wonderful. Am I the father? No, not a baby. A baby, you know. A Barbecue. <laughs> you know there's no chance of children. Not since you had this surgery. It was only an ingrowing toenail, Beth. I know, but it left you with this lousy limp. <laughs> this lousy limp what, Beth? <laughs> What's the matter, Bezzard? Nothing, Babs. I was just thinking of Nalene, my first Sheila. She told me she was going to have my baby. But she said if I didn't marry her, she'd throw herself off Sydney Harbour Bridge. What happened, Bezzard? She threw herself off Sydney Harbour Bridge. <laughs> Still. Ah, now nah, that'll be my kids. <laughs> Shane and uh, Shane from a former marriage. <laughs> good day, Dick. Good day, Shane. Good day, Dick. Good day, Mr. Billabones. Good day, Shanes. <laughs> Still pondering that puzzle, Pat? Yeah. Six weeks and I'm near done. We've both been bonding at Bay, though. Nah. Uh, we've both been bathing at Bondi. Oh, that takes me back. 
You know me had some bloomin' beaut bond I bathed in and baked bonds of beefsteak barbers when you were babies, boys. <laughs> yeah, but that was before you got all shook up over that shameless Sheila, Sheila, who nearly shattered your illusions. That's easy for you to say, Shane. Yeah, but then you call in for consolation our beautiful newborn neighbour, Babs. Everybody needs good neighbours, Shane. I think I heard the doorbell dead. <laughs> ah, nah. That'll be your mum returned from prison. You never told us she was in prison, Dan? Yeah. She's been playing a screw in prisoner in cell block H. Ah, <laughs> oh, the shame, Shane. What'll the neighbours say? I know what the neighbours will say. They'll say that's Bab Blinken, Bondi, Barbie blown and the bonking. <laughs> nah. No Australian actor could ever say that. <laughs> Still, everybody, everybody needs good neighbours. <laughs> Yeah. 